welcome back to my channel in this video I created a cute simple eyeliner look using yellow eyeliner so if you guys like this look make sure you stay tuned and hit that notification bell and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all the latest videos so for this video I started off with using a NARS primer and I do like this primer it smells kind of fragrancy which as you guys know that's not my favorite but then after I added my primer I like to do my brows next and I recently got the Benefit Cabra bra pomade and this bra pomade has honestly been my favorite bra pomade I tried a few other things and I tend to not really like the color that they have for me and they don't go on that well but this I need like a little bit and dip and I apply it and it was it like I only needed a little bit so then I switched to applying my foundation I'm actually doing things super duper backwards because as you can see I didn't add any concealer around my eyebrows and I have to so for that I use a Boeing benefit con um, concealer and I outline my eyebrows and again I don't arch my brows so this tutorial is for people who never arch their brows I barely clean it up I just let my brows go natural and be wild and just outline them so they're already thick I basically just take that concealer and I cover up the hairs that need to be waxed away but I don't want to wax my eyebrows, it saves me a lot of money and I don't want my eyebrows to be too thin. Because at one point in my life, my eyebrows were super thin. I was with that trend of getting my eyebrows arched at prom. This Asian lady took the end of my eyebrow off and I was just at prom with a missing eyebrow. And this is before I came to the conclusion, I mean this is before like filling in your bras like was popular or whatever. She took a bit of my bra off. So ever since then, like, I haven't been into arching my brows. And I've just been kind of into, I don't even need to fill them in. I don't do this to fill my brows in. I literally do this to give them that illusion that they've been arched. And this eyebrow technique that I'm doing is kind of really old and outdated. And I see a lot of people don't do this technique. But once again, because I don't arch my brows, I do this. Because I'm literally just trying to cover up those hairs with concealer. And of course, I use the pen to make it a little bit, I mean the pomade to make it a little bit thicker. So, I'm just gonna play with that. Oh, and for this, I use like a flat little angle brush to really deal with it. And then I take my Real Technique brush. I'm not sure of the name of this brush, but I take that Real Technique brush and I use it to blend in that um, concealer. And of course, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, I never, ever, ever do my brows perfect. They tend to come out perfect at the end. So in the beginning, like, when I'm applying my foundation and I decide to do my brows, like, I don't ever expect for my brows to be perfect because it never happens. So I just kind of go in and I use my beauty blender to blend out my makeup. As you can see, I already applied it on my face because I told you I was being backwards. So I just took my beauty blender and I, like, Padded around my brows to blend out that concealer. And you know, when you get your eyebrows arched, like if you have that little light skin edges around it, that's the illusion that I'm trying to get my eyebrows. I'm trying to make my eyebrows have light skin edges. That don't even make sense. Light skin. Okay. I don't know what I'm trying to say. That don't even make sense. But I take my beauty blender and I blend, blend, blend. And some good tips, of course, if you guys don't already know when using your beauty blender make sure it's damp so then I applied some concealer this isn't a like real in detail um, tutorial so I'm not too sure I kind of forgot what concealer I used, but of course you know you want to put the concealer underneath your eyes on top of those um, fine lines and dark circles so I went for a really really super 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 plain look like I don't want to do too much makeup because I didn't really have nothing to do for today I was just like trying to play with my little new eyeliner that I got so now of course I'm taking my contour and I make my cute little duck face that's a little tip that I would give make your cute little duck face and then apply that um, 
sorry, that contour right above the cheekbone where you're making that cute little duck face. And then I take my MAC angle brush. I'm so sorry I'm not giving more details on the brushes that I'm using, but if you would like to know what kind of brushes that I'm using specifically for these tutorials, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll let you guys know some of my favorite brushes that I love to use, okay? So this is a MAC brush. And it's a synthetic brush. Synthetic brushes, from what they tell me, tend to be a little bit better. But of course, I don't think I've ever used like a real brush. So I use a brush and I use a beauty blender to get those fine lines. Because sometimes to me, I feel like a beauty blender takes away the makeup. And I don't want to keep applying more and more layers. Like for me, I like like as much to use as much little makeup as possible. So then in this next portion, of course, I'm going to set my face with my favorite, well one of my favorite setting powders, the Laura Mercier setting powder. And of course my new hack that I recently learned to do is when blending in that um, setting powder, use the beauty blender. I don't know why I never thought to do this, but I'm telling you, blend that setting um, powder out with the beauty blender. Like, don't use a brush. It just sets sets the um, concealer a little bit better if you use a beauty blender. Oh yeah, I mean I go in of course with the brush later, especially when I want to add some um, foundation that's like my actual skin tone on top of my setting powder, just to get rid of that flashback and get rid of like fine. Um, what are those fine lines where you could see that you need to blend more I go in exactly with a powder foundation that's my color just to give me a little bit more coverage and to of course blend out those um, fine lines of my contour and for this I'm using a real technique brush again I don't know the number I'm so sorry and if you would love a tutorial on like some of my favorite brushes, again, leave a comment. And if I haven't already said it at this time, you can go ahead and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any more of these bomb tutorials. So I usually never use like a blush stick or a blush that's not like a powder base. But for this video, I had like a blush stick. I think it's ColourPop. I tried this out and I don't know how I feel about it can't really tell that I put anything on I'm not gonna directly apply it to my cheeks because I seen that it smudged my makeup so I used my finger and I dabbed it onto my face and then you see I added my highlight right on top of where I just added my blush and for this I use like a max skin finish not too much of a highlight it's more of a skin finish to give me that glowy look but I love 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 using it as a highlight because it makes your girl glow like super glow and it's perfect on my skin tone so of course I'm going in with my NYX Vivid in like this cute pastel yellow color the thing about it it pops up so well on like my skin tone or like darker skin tones this eyeliner ugh, it's amazing like the formula is so good like it really look you can see like Look how bold that eyeliner is. And yellow is for sure my color. Yellow is any darker skin tone person's color. It just looks so good on your skin tone. All bright colors look good, but yellow, it just looks so refreshing. So of course, when I um, put this eyeliner on, like everybody stops me like oh my god your eyeliner your eyeliner so like this is a super super simple like makeup look but like it pops like it pops like if you want to stand out this look get some colorful eyeliner and just rock that and trust me like you be fly boo so I applied that and I love this NYX liner again because it's super pigmented and it doesn't like when it dries it doesn't like crack and flake like some other eyeliners that I do know do that so this eyeliner just like applies so good one thing I can say is like it's hard for me to apply eyeliner especially with the applicator that comes with the eyeliner like I just don't have a steady hand and I would prefer to use like an eyeliner brush so maybe like if this the end of the eyeliner is a little bit 
thicker and maybe like more sturdy, it would be easier to draw a more precise line. You know how some of those eyeliners, like this, the um, part where you draw is like kind of hard? Maybe if their eyeliner was like hard at the end, just a little bit, then maybe like I could get a more precise line when it comes to drawing it. Because I don't have a steady hand, like I'm not the best at applying eyeliner, but I do try my best. And nonetheless, like it does come out really cute. So it is what it is. But that's the one thing I can say, like if I was NYX, I would try to do like, make the applicator more precision, like give me more precision because as you can see like it's not that neat and I would love to do it more neat of course neatness comes with practice so there you have it guys this tutorial of how I created this cute simple um yellow eyeliner look make sure you subscribe to my channel peace out